Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Dee Dee. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you're returning, welcome back. So my friend Beth here on YouTube, her channel name is Little Betsy underscore 79. She started a panning project last year in 2021. I believe it was dear, uh, Valentine's Day called My Man's Pan. And basically what that is is any products that have been given to you as a gift, whether it be from your significant other, a friend, a family member, whoever it may be. Initially, she started it where it was spouses or significant others, but now she's changed it to where it could be products that were gifted or anything like that. So this project basically, I believe it has a certain number of products. I think six to eight could be any type of products. And so this year she started the project again and she invited anybody that wanted to join to join. And so I thought this would be a great way for me to use some of my products and I thought why not go ahead and give it a try. So I believe from my understanding it started February 14th and goes to August 14th if I remember correctly. If not, I'll have the correct information on the screen. As far as I know, um, she's been doing it. I think there might be a couple others. I'll make sure to put names and everything down below for you guys. I don't know who all is doing this as of yet. The intro was supposed to be done for February 14th and I completely uh, slacked on that and so that's my bad, but I'm doing it today. So basically this is gonna be my intro for what products I'm going to put into this uh, panning project and all of that. And you can make your own goals and things like that that you want to do. So like I said, I believe it goes to August. Six months total is what I remember her saying. And it could be any products that have been gifted to you from anyone uh, for the most part. So I did find a few products that I really want to try to work on and all of that. And so I'm going to share those with you guys today. I do believe the updates will come every month on the 14th. So... Uh, the 14th has passed, so this will be my intro um, initially, and then I'll have all the rest of March, April, May, June, and so on and so forth to continue with updates on time and showing you the products and all of that. The thing I want to try to use more of is this palette here. This was gifted to me from Beth, and this is the Laura Lee Blush Aesthetic Palette. And this is the palette here. Super, super pretty. Has some beautiful, beautiful shades. I have played in this since she gave it to me back in December. I have played in it. However, I want to play in it more. So I'm going to put this in this project. I want to try to use um, all of the shades in here. And I want to try to... I'll figure out what how many times... Like I said, I have played in this. I am wearing this today on my cheeks. I did uh, actually a combination of three. So I took this one, this one, and this one, and I blended those together, and I just put those put that on the cheeks today. So that's the first thing. I don't know what my goal is on that. It's just pretty much to try to use it. There's enough shades in there that I could use it every day for so long. The next palette is one of the first palettes my husband had ever picked me up. Um, this is the Lorac unzipped palette. This is the original unzipped. You guys have seen this on my channel before. I have put it in previous projects and you can see right there where it's at. This palette has definitely been shown a lot, a lot of love and it's super gorgeous. Um, I already hit pan obviously on this one. This is, I hit pan on like so long ago. There's a few others that have dips. This is one of the oldest palettes in my collection. And I just, my goal on this is to hit pan in at least a few more shades. I don't care what shades they are. I just want to be able to hit pan in a few more of them. Okay, so this next product is one of the first lipsticks my husband ever picked me up. And it is the Nicki Minaj Viva Glam 2. And this was one of the first pricey lipsticks he picked up for me. 
I've had this for so long. That is what I have left there. It's not a lot, so I'm hoping to completely finish this in this time frame that I have. Um, it's a beautiful lipstick. I have had it so, so long. I don't even remember how long ago it was that I got it, but I, my goal is to finish it. This other item is in Alley Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner, and this is what it looks like. It's one of the sharpened wooden ones. It's a beautiful shade. I do have it on my lips today with that MAC lipstick. Um, however, the reason why I'm putting this one in is um, I think it was gifted to me. I can't remember if I bought it for myself, but um, this is one of my least favorite lip liners. The color is beautiful. However, it's very drying and getting it on the lips takes a lot of work to do that. And sometimes it can cause my lips to burn a little bit. It doesn't seem to go on very easy, like it's very, very dry, a very dry formula. And when I do finally get it on the lips, I just feel my lips are kind of hurting and all of that. But it's a beautiful shade, so I'm going to work on trying to get as much as that, that I can. It's like a couple bucks, um, but I'm going to try to use it as much as I can, but um, I don't know, whatever... I don't use by the end of the project I'll probably toss it because unfortunately it's just super uh, drying and it's a beautiful shade and very affordable but when I go to put it on the lips my lips really do hurt afterwards and feel kind of um, irritated I guess is the word I'm trying to say um, but this other item is the BH Cosmetics Eye Lights this is a liquid eyeshadow and this is a gnarly and this is what that looks like. Very beautiful packaging. I don't think that I have ever used this. And my husband had, um, we went to Ulta last year sometime, maybe even the year before that, I don't know. And he had saw this and thought it was so pretty and wanted me to pick it up. And it is super, super beautiful. I just don't know that I used it and that is what it looks like right there it's just really pretty really iridescent it's not very pigmented like the stila ones or anything like that but it is very pretty and it does have a little bit of dual chrome in there so i want to get some use out of this maybe at least use it five to ten times is my goal um, obviously it's a bl bright blue you can't use it with every look that you do but i want to be able to get some use out of it um and then the last pro uh, product that I think I'm going to put in for now, this is a repeated project uh, product. This is the Lancome Absolute Powder, and this is in Absolute Pearl, and this is what it looks like. This is one of the first high-priced uh, powders my husband had ever bought me. And this thing was so, so expensive, but it's absolutely beautiful on the skin. And I've had it just way too long now, and I don't want any of the product to go to waste. Um, so I want to try to use this product up. I'm trying to see if you we can measure how much is left. It's not a lot. I think I can definitely finish it really like right in this area here. Wish I could show you guys, but... I don't think the camera is going to pick it up. So it's not very much product at all. If I show you this way, you can see that little bit, how much is in there. I think I can finish this up full market and stuff when I get off of here. I try to get this sticker off and mark it properly. But it's not very much. But it's one of my oldest and it is a very beautiful, beautiful powder. But I definitely just want to get it done and used and out of my collection. My Lancome powder. A MAC lipstick. My BH Cosmetics Eyelights Liquid Eyeshadow right there that I have yet to use. I don't recall using it once. And then uh, this Alley Girl Bare Lip Liner. Laura Lee Blush Palette that was gifted to me from Beth. I want to get more use out of it. It has a ton of beautiful shades. A little bit too dark for my skin tone, but I'll probably use it as a highlighter or like a, a blush topper maybe. Because it's a little bit on the warmer side, but it's still very pretty. That is what that looks like. See how pretty that is? 
right there. Rock Unzipped palette. Just want to try to get some use in this palette and get some dips in those shades. But that is everything that I'm putting in this project. Um, definitely, I will leave Beth's channel down below for you guys to check her out. She is the one who came up with this idea. It is her own project that she came up with last year. So definitely check her out, see what pro uh, products she's using and anyone else that is in it. I will also put that down below for you guys as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know if you like doing projects, if you are interested in joining this project. Beth said it is open to anyone that would like to do it. Uh, let me know that down in the comments below. This is definitely a great way to use products in your collection. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you did enjoy this video or these types of videos, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. This is going to complete this video for today and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.